What's up guys, Cali Sunset Gaming with you again. We are on to our next episode of the FIFA 20 Chelsea career mode. Last time out, managed to go through in the Europa League, managed to go through in the FA Cup, so we've still got the opportunity at Silverware in two occasions this season. Tight at the top of the table. Three points behind Manchester City to break into third position. We've got confirmation through on who we are facing in the next round of the Europa League and a big game against Tottenham in the Premier League as well. So let's get to it. So let's have a look at the calendar, the games that are going to be played today. So we've got Newcastle, Atletico Bilbao and Tottenham and then the second leg against Atletico Bilbao. For any of you guys who haven't watched any of these episodes before, I do a format where I will sim two games an episode and play two games an episode and each time it will be varied depending on the type of games that I have or the competition that I'm in. With that in mind, what I'm going to be doing is simming the game against Newcastle and the first leg against Bilbao, then playing the game against Tottenham and the second leg against Bilbao, which is the quarter-final of the Europa League. So just before I show you guys the lineup that we're going to be going with against Newcastle, just remind you that Erdegaard went out with a training injury and he will not be back for three months. So one of our big hitters in the midfield position is gone. So we're going to have to have somebody to fill his boots possibly an opportunity for Baker to make his way back into the squad but I do believe that Asaya Brown and also Mason Mount would be a good duo to act in that midfield with Kante in the covering role. So against Newcastle we're going to go with this lineup we've got Kepa in goal, Lodi as left back, Christiansen and Rudiger as centre backs with Moses as right back then in the midfield as I discussed earlier we've got Kante, Mason Mount and Asaya Brown in that slightly more attacking position in the midfield trio then going forward, Pulisic on the left, Sancho on the right and Tammy up front on his own. 4-0. Wow. Sancho with all four goals. Beast. What a performance. Okay, so back to the dashboard. Let's have a quick look at the notifications. Looks like we got a message from Bakioko saying that he needs to play more. Uh, play more at the moment isn't good for my career. Still have a place in the squad. That is true. I think Bakioko is a great player. On FIFA, I don't really think he's he's hit it at Chelsea, and then obviously he was loaned out. I haven't really followed his career that much since he left Chelsea, but you know, on FIFA he is good. So I do still want him as part of the squad because he is that brilliant holding player, really tall, dominates the midfield. So he will replace Kante eventually. It's just Kante is having such a fantastic run at the moment I can't really I can't really pull him out but what I might do is just put back Yoko in for this game against Bilbao see how he does okay so we finally simmed forward to the game against Bilbao this game is going to be simulated as well so I'll show you guys the lineup we're going for Kepa in goal Lodi Christensen a Pamakana replaces a tied Rudiger and then Moses on the right in the holding position, Bakayoko, after he came to me saying that he feels like he needs more game time, give him this opportunity. Mount is centre mid and then Brown going slightly forward. And then up front, we're going for Pulisic, Sancho, and we're going to give Morata a run out as well. 3-1. Sancho scoring two. That makes it six goals for him in two games. Mason Mount also scoring. Looks like Pereira missed a penalty. Um, so 3-1 going into the second leg. Quietly confident about this. So moving forward... Premier League game against Tottenham. Spurs second in the league. We've actually slipped down to fifth. We've got a game in hand against Arsenal with one point behind them. Still three points behind Manchester City who are probably going to be playing their 32nd game the same as us. Let's have a quick look at the notifications. It looks like uh, Manchester United have signed Zappa Costa before I had the opportunity to renew his contract. Not the end of the world. Zappa Costa wasn't a player that I was think it would be my staple right back obviously Moses coming back I love Moses and he's played really well in that position but ideally the position will be going to Reese James big game against Spurs as always show you guys the lineups just before kickoff so against Tottenham who are second in the league we're playing at Stamford Bridge we line up like this Kepa in goal Lodi Apamakano Rudiger and Moses make up the back four in the holding position in midfield, we've gone for Bakayoko again with Mason Mount and Lewis Baker in the more attacking positions. Then going forward, Pulisic, Sancho and Dries Mertens. Spurs going for a 4-5-1. They've got Gazaniga in goal, Shaw, Dejene, Savic and Atau as their back four. Midfield, Sessegnon, Sissoko, Undombele, Mora and Ali. And then going forward, Harry Kane. Okay, Ryan Sessegnon. 
That's a naughty bit of business. So, we've sort of fell short of Tottenham during my career mode. Haven't really matched them and they've sort of gone quite far ahead of us. Quite a dominant team in London now. Second in the league. That's the heights that we want to at least be reaching. We want to be obviously winning the league, but a win here today will stand us in good stead to push on to do that sort of thing. No one's making any forward runs. Oh, Pulisic is. Here he goes. He's beating his man. Pulisic in on goal. Oh. How has he managed that? The keeper still managed to keep it out. Corner early to Chelsea. Ball in the box. Rudiger with a head. Oh my God. History beckons Harry Kane trying to beat the goal scoring record for the Prem. Hopefully he doesn't add to his tally today. Rudiger up for the jump again. Pamakano gathers it on the edge of the area. Bakioko to Mount who's looking to get in. A ball to Mertens. Off the bar. Wow. Lodi does well. Gets the ball to Sancho, who's in on goal now. Hits it low and hard. Miles wide. Miles wide. Another wasted opportunity. Kane. A ball to Sessegnon, who's going to look to break. Shaw. Shaw moving forward now. Gets it to Kane. Kane to Ali. Oh no, Ali with Tosoko. Just get it clear. Just get it. Oh, what? Kane's gathered it on the edge of the area. Tosoko has a pass intercepted. Pulisic. Gives the ball to Mertens, who's looking to step forward. Tackled. Tackled by Ses. What? What happened there? I think it was a foul off the ball. I don't think anybody touched him. I think it might have been when him and Moses went up for the header. Yeah. <laughs> Moses. Ah! Out! Moses with the ball to Mertens, to Mount, he's done the defender, the ball to Pulisic, in on goal, what, are you kidding, nah, come on, other words, Baker gathers in the area. Pass intercepted. The fourth official has indicated. The ball is played through to Atal. Harry Kane. Plays a ball to Ali. Oh no. Lucas in on goal. 1 0 down. I don't believe it. I do not believe it. That's it, that's it. One break. One break is all they needed. They got it. We couldn't get back quick enough. Mora's not going to miss a one-on-one -on -one like that. Fuming. Not good enough again. Half-time whistle goes. 1-0 down to Tottenham. Big improvements needed in the second half. We're just not good enough at the minute. So I've had to make a substitution just as the second half begins. I've taken Mason Mount off because he's really tired. What I've done is I brought Callum hudson Adoy on, put Pulisic into that centre attacking midfield role, Baker as centre mid, and then Callum hudson Adoy out wide. So 
Tottenham looking to start the second half as they ended the first. And Baker way too late with that tackle there. Dele Alli gets a ball in. Rudiger up for the header. Does well. Pulisic. To Bakayoko. Baker gives a ball to Sancho who's in on goal and he's running through one on one Kazaniga great save Bakioko reads it again I think he's offside he is Mertens Comes deep to get it. Lodi back to Mertens. Mertens gives it to Baker. Mertens has got it again. Edge of the area. Looking to cut inside. Ball to Baker. Baker. Get in! Took long enough. Finally got the opportunity. Well played. Dries Mertens did all of the work there. Just constantly trying to find that gap. Easy for Baker. Doing that trademark run into the box. Great goal. Befitting of the number eight shirt at Chelsea. I'll just say that. Bakioko again in there to give that desperately needed tap. Time you run, mate. Come on. Time you run. Good spot. But Mertens has started his run way too early. Baker to Sancho. Sancho gives it to Mertens. Defender not putting a foot in. Dries Mertens makes it two. Man of the moment yet again. Does not disappoint. A lot of pressure on his shoulders to perform, but he's a veteran and he loves it. Tottenham defenders just standing off, not really putting a foot in, don't know why. They paid the price for it. He's cut Moses out of the game with that pass. Get in! 2-1 win against Tottenham. That six-point gap has been closed. Great performance. Back in the lobby. What a win. What a win. Have a quick look at the notifications. Just looks like one from Rudiger. Cheers for all the first-team football. Obviously, he's one of the main components of our squad. So, really happy with his performance. Him and... Pamakano just seems to be a great partnership. So the last game of the episode, we are against Bilbao in the second leg of the quarterfinals of the Europa League. Again, let's have a quick look at the notifications. Tammy Abraham wants to play. I'll let him play. I'll let Tammy play. 3-1 up, confident that with him as our striker, we can still carry through a win or at least go through. What I will do just before we go any further is just have a look at the Premier League table after that win against Tottenham. So buzzing about that. So we've moved up to 76 points, 32 games played. Arsenal dropped into fifth. We're 10 points ahead of them in goal difference and two points ahead of them on the points tally. Looking up towards Manchester City, they're still three points ahead of us. Goal difference is pretty similar too. We've got the same goal difference as Tottenham. They're three points ahead of us as well. So it's really tight between Spurs and City. But again, it looks like it's one of those seasons where Liverpool have just ran away with it. I can't see them being caught now. So just before this last game of the episode, I'll show you guys the lineups before kickoff. Winning this means we go through into the semi-finals of the Europa League. 
If you are enjoying this concept, make sure that you smash a massive like on it, as well as hit that subscription button for more videos exactly like this. And obviously, when FIFA 21 comes out, I will be doing a Chelsea career mode with those guys as well. We'll see against Atletico Bilbao in the quarterfinals. We're 3-1 up on aggregate, and this is the lineup that we've gone with. So Kepa in goal, Emerson, Tomori, Ampadu, and Zappa Costa make up the back four. In midfield, Bakayoko, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, and Isaiah Brown. Then going forward, we've got our youngster, Ericsson, Tammy Abraham up top on his own, and then Charlie Masonda on the right. Lots of changes, lots of rotation, but it's just to make sure that we keep all of our primary players as fresh as possible. So hopefully we can just see the game out with the younger talent that we have in the squad, with a few veterans put in there for good measure. Athletic Bilbao, they've gone for Simon in goal with Mario Rui, Martinez, Yere, and Calabria as their back four. Midfield, they've gone for Pereo, Garcia, and Munian. Going forward, they've gone for Cordoba, Gomez, and Villa Libre. Okay, kickoff. Remember, a 3 1 up on aggregate, but it doesn't mean that we can take any chances. They're going to be trying to press us early, try and get that early goal and settle us. But I'm confident with Ruben and Bakioko midfield, I'm confident that we should retain most of the possession. Tammy has a ball snatched off him. Valalibre. Quick one too. Cordoba. That was nearly the early goal. First five minutes in. Already they pressed us really high. Got the ball forward really quickly. Emerson. First start in quite a while. Don't let him do you like that. Christ. Danny Garcia. Through to Calabria. Ball in. Oh, wow. Ampadu covers for Zappa Costa's mistake. Brown. Terrible ball. Calabria. Yare. Eriksson does well to intercept. Now Brown has spotted Tammy making a run. Tammy's in on goal by himself. Wide of the post. Not good enough really, is it? Why on earth is it with his left? I don't know. Masonda moving down the wing. Goes central to Loftus Cheek. Bakioko has it now to Ericsson. Loftus Cheek with a ball. Edge of the area over the bar. Gross. Well, the first half whistle goes. And I'll be honest with you, a terrible, terrible. We haven't got going at all. We've had maybe that one opportunity, Tammy's one opportunity. But apart from that, it's just so lethargic. Team's not moving with any sort of pace. We've beaten 3-1 at Stamford Bridge, but this game just seems really lacklustre. They're dominating us in midfield, no doubt about it. Second half begins... Keep it tight. I can't see us conceding two goals in this half, to be completely honest. But we just need to keep our heads on. If we can score one goal, we've basically killed the game off. Off to Cheek. To Tammy. Blocked there. Couldn't manage to get past that defender. Cordoba's walked away with that somehow. Don't know how he's done that. Masonda having to track back for Zappa Costa. They just penned us in there, didn't they? Just penned us in. Oh, 
Well, 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 well. Emerson just absolutely bullied at that byline. Ampadu gave no real contest. And as a result, the striker just bullies him. Manages to get his head on it. We go 1-0 down. Calabria. Danny Garcia linking up Wilson with the ball. Calabria has it again. Callum Hudson-Odoi does well to get the ball. Chelsea looking to break. Pulisic spots Callum Hudson-Odoi's run. He's got fresh legs. Callum Hudson-Odoi to Pulisic. In on goal. Game over. Hopes dashed by Captain America. Bilbao will not continue in this competition. As simple as that, we just needed an attacking midfielder that was looking to burst into the box. Pulisic, although he's tired, still can act as that impact player. Great goal. Full-time whistle goes one all against Athletic Bilbao, which sends us through. Into the final four of the Europa League. Well, there's the stats. Tammy Abraham played the full 93 minutes. Nothing really that great from his performance, but... So, guys, we'll leave it there for that episode. Difficult game against Bilbao, but we've managed to go through it into the last four. Tammy Abraham not having a great performance, but still very much part of my plans for the future of this squad. As I said before, guys, if you did enjoy this, smash a like on the video. I appreciate you guys checking this content out. I'll see you guys next time on Cali Sunset Gaming.